Hi guys, it's Gabby. So today I'm going to be doing my daily makeup routine. I'm very excited to film this video. This is probably going to be the first video I post coming back onto YouTube besides my introduction video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it down below. And yeah, I'm very excited to do this. I want to show you guys what I do basically on the daily basis whenever I go out to take pictures, to hang out with friends, go out to dinner, that type of stuff. This is a makeup look that I will do. It has definitely changed a lot throughout the years and I've tried new things and I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned and yeah. So also another thing, I know I mentioned it in my last video but I'm going to say it again. By the way, I'm sitting in front of my window and the sledding is amazing but you can see like literally everything and like scary. But anyways. I chipped my tooth for the third time. If you guys want to see a video on that, like my whole like tooth chipping story, let me know because I can totally film that. But I chipped it again. So if you notice like a little chip in my tooth, I'm trying to like hide it in a way. <laughs> but if my tooth looks like fucked, that's why. I'm very sorry, but that's the tea. So yeah, let's get right into this video. I'm not going to like edit it because I don't have time for that. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So I already moisturized my face. I took a shower. I um, put on Vaseline and everything like that. And so yeah, so the first thing that I like to do is start off with concealer. Now for concealer, I usually use um, Shape Tape. However, I ran out of the I ran out of that one because it's so amazing. So I switched over to Elf. My mom like had it in her makeup bag, and I um, let me fix this. Sorry, my mom had it in her makeup bag, and I tried it out, and I actually really like it. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, shout out to Elf. Very, very impressed. And it's like pretty cheap, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I didn't buy it, but I would assume so. Okay, yeah, this mirror needs to be like not in my way so I can like see myself because I'm like going above the camera. So I already um, wet my beauty blender. It's right here. So I like to start off with concealer first. Now, I never used to do that. I always went in with foundation, but I found that putting concealer under my eyes first actually helps like conceal it even more i don't know i like really like that you guys should try it out that's the first like tip that i have and yeah i noticed a difference in my makeup for some reason or maybe it's just me but i definitely think that it helps so yeah you can like conceal anything else but i just do under the eyes and like go like that and yeah so once i'm done with that i'm gonna go right in with foundation now i use two shades and this foundation combination is oh my god that rhymed is literally the best now when i tell you guys it's so good like it's so good like you have to buy these two foundations and then mix it together and i promise you you will fall in love so the first foundation i have is the born is the Too faced born this way this is the foundation i had when i was pale like in the winter and stuff but i guess i just bought a shade that was just too white for me and i never really realized it and so this shade is my summer shade this is the milani conceal and perfect foundation and this is what i use in the summer when i'm nice and tan so because this one's too white and this one's too dark i combine the both of them and it makes like my perfect shade but i guess it's because this one's like kind of thin this is thick it like blends amazing my my best friend jackie she has a two foundations too and she makes it and she was like bitch like this is awesome and i was like oh i know like it's so good so i'm like running out of both so bad but oh god this is embarrassing i think i'm just gonna oh yeah okay so i'm just gonna take some on my hand this is what i do to blend it <laughs> this is so bad i'm so sorry i have to buy a new foundation and i think i'm just gonna end up buying the same shades in the both of them and just keep on mixing them that's how much i love it so i'm gonna be taking that it's usually about like two pumps and then with the milani one i just take one because it's like pretty dark so i just go like that and then i take a back of a eyeshadow brush a, like a really thin one and i just mix it on my hand and then i just apply it on my face like one on each side and like whatever um yeah so taking my beauty blender i'm just gonna blend it all on my face like i said this combination is amazing i know i keep saying it but you guys really have to try it like i was never into come like mixing um foundations because i thought it was like so weird and it never worked and it was just like off but when I when I thought I ran out of the Milani, there's still some in there, but before when it like wasn't coming out, I was just using the Too Faced. And I was like, oh my God, this feels so weird. Like, how did I use it alone before? You know what I mean? Because once you start mixing it, it's like, wow, like how did I use it by itself before, you know? So I have really bad OCD and I go over the same spot a thousand times because OCD, I'm weird. I don't know. So yeah. 
gonna be doing that over my eyelids upper lip chin you know how it is guys oh crap i think i need more yeah i need some more all right i'm gonna blend more this is like sorry this is like weird only ah only because like i said i'm running out so this is why this is not turning out right and then take a little bit of the other one you guys are gonna see this transformation like this is a good makeup routine i'm gonna oh wait no i can't call it like a bronzy glowy because i'm doing my daily makeup routine so that would just be a different video i guess but this makeup look is very like glowy bronzy like full coverage but not like a ton of makeup you know what i mean it's like perfect for summer spring fall winter like all the freaking seasons girl i'm telling you like this makeup look is awesome and it comes out so good in pictures because you just look so glowy and bronzy and tan and it's the best okay so i have a really small forehead so it's really hard to like put foundation on it because it gets in my eyebrows and my hairline and it's the most annoying thing ever but i mean what am i gonna do all right so once i'm done with that i'm gonna go back in with the same concealer and this time i actually conceal like everything so i'm gonna go back in and conceal my under eyes if you hear noises it's my dad he's like getting ready we're supposed to go somewhere today so i thought i would film this video for you guys because the lighting was nice and i was in the mood to film and i really want to start posting again on youtube really sorry i keep going up my mirrors like that way this is not a good setup. I need to like fix this. But as you can see, I'm just going, you know, wherever you put concealer. Oh my God. Okay. So I don't know if you guys see that, but I have like a little red dot there. Now, story time, like a long time ago. And when I say long time ago, I mean like half a year ago. <laughs> so like six months ago, I got this like little pimple on my nose, right? And it was like small, whatever. I popped it. It went away, whatever. And then... It left like a red dot on my nose that was never there before. And it's not like a bump, like it's like, you know, it's flat. It's like a little red dot on my skin. Does that make sense? And I don't know how to get rid of it. Like, it's so weird. Like I every time I take pictures without uh, makeup on, I'm like, oh, like that's cute. And then you see that dot and I'm like, what is that? Like, it's so weird. So if anyone knows what that is or how to get rid of it, let me know. Cause I literally have no clue. So I'm just going in again and blending that all out. Oh, crap, I really need to wet this again, but I'm so lazy. So we're just gonna blend this out. I'm just looking at the screen, like my iPhone screen. So I hope this is like blended because I'm not even looking at the mirror. Okay. And I also put some on my forehead. Like I said, it's really hard to put, to blend it out on my forehead because it's so small. Oh, I should do that. Wow. My forehead is bigger. Oh my god. Girl, that hairline. Okay. Make it close. <laughs> oh my god, you guys can see my chip. Ah, stop it so bad. Okay. These faces are priceless. Okay. So once I'm done blending that all out, I'm going to go in with powder. Now for powder, I absolutely love, sorry, I have an H on my nose. Oh my God, story time. Let me, let me tell you guys about that. Oh my God, wait, hold up. Okay, so I have like really bad nose problems. It's so weird. Like my nose is always itchy, but it's not like in my nose. It's like the outside and I always go like this. So if you see me do that, I'm not picking my nose because if you know me, I don't blow my nose in public or do any of that stuff because i literally hate it so if you see me do that i'm itching it because it's like weird and i have issues so now i'm gonna go in with my airspun powder this is like the best powder ever i also use the laura mercy a one and it's literally identical like after i ran out i went back to this because it's so good it like makes you not dry but <laughs> it really does help you powder your face you know so this is these are the areas that i do it in because i really i don't like the dewy look for me personally it just annoys me because it's like girl you look oily but that's me i don't know i don't know how girls do it i'm like oh she looks cute but then i look like a grease ball okay 
So once I'm done with that, I just let it sit for a while. So I guess we're just gonna sit and talk. I'm gonna wipe this off. <gasps> wow, so cute. So while I'm letting that bake, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. Now for eyeshadow, I don't do anything crazy. Like I said, this is my daily makeup routine. So on the daily, I just put in like a white shade, a tan shade over it, and that's pretty much it, just to make it look, you know, all the same, my face all the same, like shade and everything. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna be going in with a Too Faced White Peach Palette. I got this for Christmas for my aunt. And then the BH Cosmetics brush, this is 141 that Jackie got me. Thanks, girl. And I'm going to be going in with peach cream, and I just go over my eyelids like that on both of them, obviously. I'm acting like you guys don't know how to do makeup. Like, <laughs> clearly you do. But if you don't, you have to put the eyeshadow on both your lids. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with fuzzy. Now, this shade is so pretty. It's like super tan, and I just blend it in with the other shade and it makes your like like look do you see what i mean like it looks like the rest of your face because i don't know about you guys but my eyelids tend to get really oily if i don't set it or put eyeshadow over it so this helps it a lot i used to use like what was it it was like a powder for your eyelids but it was like supposed to make them not oily i remember i had that if anyone remembers what it was called if you used to watch my old videos because i think i put it in my old like daily makeup routine let me know or maybe i'll just have to look back and watch but those videos are so cringy oh god um and yeah so i used to have that but then i dropped it and it cracked and then i bought a new one and then i dropped it and it cracked so i didn't buy it after that but that product was very good i really should i think it was like sephora brand or something like that all right, so once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go in with a powder brush. So I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics 123 brush. I love this. I love big powder brushes because like I have a big face. So I actually kind of wish this one was bigger, but this will do. So I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, light to medium. And I kind of just mix all the shades. I don't know. Just, I don't really see a difference in any of them. I'm just gonna use this one because this one, So I'm gonna go like that and then just blend all the powder in. Leave such a nice touch. Like, do you guys see what I mean? Like this makeup routine, like I'm telling you, it's so good. Like when I look back and think about how I used to do my makeup, I'm like, girl, how did you, why? You know what I mean? Cause like, you know, as you get older and you try new products, try new things and you actually get to see what works for you and what you like. And yeah, so who knows? This, makeup routine will probably change in the future but as of now i love it also guys i cut my hair really short like literally like up to here and it, this was in september by the way like the end of september and it's grown so much since then i'm so happy because i feel like this length suits me a lot better than the shorter so if i were to ever cut my hair again it would be like here which i think is cute okay so I'm also gonna take this brush. I got this one from like Amazon and like, I know sounds really weird, but I promise you these brushes are amazing. They're so soft and they're cute and they work. So once I'm done with that, I usually just take a spoolie because like I said, my eyebrows are thick. So product always gets in them. So I'm just gonna wet it and just go like that. And then take a spoolie and then just brush them out. We'll fix some more later, but this will do. Of course, when I decide to film, my whole family is upstairs. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Cute. Okay. So now bronzer. This is my favorite step. I love bronzing because it makes your face look so like better and not white. Okay, so I'm gonna use <laughs> You guys are gonna roast me so bad. Look at my contour brush yeah but i promise you i don't even know where this is from if i'm being completely honest like i have no clue but this contour brush i just spit is so good and so i'm gonna use the becca contour i don't even know oh okay okay this is the bronzed bondi bronzer yeah now with my 
little broken contour brush i'm just gonna go and put this all over my face now i like to start off with my forehead now like i said before i know i have a small forehead but i still like to apply bronzer on it because if you don't i feel like it just looks so off if like your cheeks have bronzer and your forehead doesn't but i feel like this doesn't really make it look smaller for me it just kind of bronzes it up because it's already like small count how many times i say small and then I just keep like going back in as you guys can see and then I go in with my nose and just bronze the sides. Now this isn't necessarily to make my nose smaller. Like I said, I like to bronze my whole face because in pictures and like when you go out in the sun and take pics and stuff or even like now, you can see it looks so good. Okay, and then now for the sides. Now this is gonna get ugly. I'm just gonna, I need like a desk. I should probably have done this on my vanity. And then I just go on the sides just to bronze up my face. And then I bring it down to my jawline and my chin. And then I do the same thing for the other side. Back to the chin. And then I drag some down my neck just so it's all like even. I didn't do this the other day and I looked a little strange. Oh my God, why does it look super tan? Okay, it's not, it's just like the camera. And then I'm just gonna blend that all out. Okay, we're gonna fix it up too, but for now, this is, this is good. To go and look in my mirror just to make sure. Okay, all right. So now I'm gonna go back in with my contour kit, this one, and take this brush. Like I said, this is from the Amazon pack. Super weird, I know, but they're good brushes, I promise. And I'm just gonna go back in with this shade and I like to just go under my eyes just to brighten them up and like, not chisel, but just, you know, line out the contour, I mean the bronzer, so it's not so like, you know? And then I just go my forehead like that. And then the same thing to the other side. This video is getting long, but it's fine. Oh, let me guys know. Let me. Oh my god, I cannot speak. Let me know if you guys are into like the long videos. I used to like sit here and edit my videos and just make it so that they weren't super long and just edit a lot of the clips out because I felt like, I don't know, I felt like it would be boring and stuff, but I feel like I kind of just want to sit here and talk and just make these videos more like real and stuff. Not that they weren't real before, but just, you know, and it's not because I don't want to edit. I actually kind of do like editing, but I just feel like it's just nicer, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I do. And now... You guys are gonna be shocked by this step. I'm gonna be going in with blush, I know. If you know me, I used to hate blush so much. I think I was just triggered because my mom always put way too much, but I don't know, I forgot how I got into this, but I actually really like it. So I'm gonna go in with the Revlon blush in Rose, I can't speak English, just whatever that is. And this is a brush from probably Claire's. I really don't know, but it's it's a good brush. So I just take a little bit and go like this. Like I said, I'm just starting to learn how to do blush. So if this is not right, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just now learning it and becoming a little bit obsessed with it. But I go very, very lightly and don't apply too much because I just want it to look just a little bit rosy, which is funny because I actually hate my rosy cheeks naturally but whatever this makes it look cute okay so then i'm gonna go in with some highlight now i don't even know what product this is i think this might be la, la mer no i really don't know my i don't know remember what the one with the flower is it starts with an l oh l'oreal why did i say la mer isn't la mer like a really bougie brand i don't know <laughs> so i'm going to be using my bh cosmetics five brush this is a perfect highlight brush and then this whatever this product is i'm very sorry it's called dull finish highlighter in gold my grandma dropped this off at my house and i was like you know like it's not going to be that good because you know my grandma i don't know she's not really into makeup and whatever but i tried it out like this is the first makeup item that she's bought me 
and I fell in love. This highlight is so blinding and so cute. I love it. So I don't know if you guys can see, it's so much more blinding in person, but can you see that? Like it's just so beautiful and I absolutely love it. And I just go in little by little because I don't want it to look too crazy, even though I love a good highlight, but I'm not Jeffree Star over here. Not that there's anything wrong with him, but I like my look to look a little bit more natural and not so in your face, you know what I mean? So then using the same brush, I'm just gonna go down my nose, but very, very lightly, like the center, and then on the tip. And then do the same thing with the other side, just applying the highlight. Oh wow, you guys can really see that there. It's because the light is like, sh oh yes. I usually take the flash on my phone to do this because you can really see like where your highlight is going, but I'm just going by the camera, the screen on my phone. So hopefully this looks good. Okay. And then, oh, I think I need a little bit more on this side. Okay. And then I just take off the product and then just go back in very, very lightly on the tip of my nose and down the center. And then, yeah. And then I kind of like to apply some underneath the brow. I don't have my brush for that crap. Oh well, that will do. And now I'm just gonna go back in and basically touch everything up because like I said, I have OCD and like to like go over everything, make sure it's perfect and not perfect, but somewhat there. So going back in with the same bronzer and just kind of retouching it up because sometimes I feel like when you do your highlight, some of the like particles get down into your bronzer and it's like, oof, you know? So I just like to fix that up pretty good okay and just let me brush out my highlight again okay perfect and then going back in with the powder now and just whitening it up just a little bit so it's not too too dark and everything oh my god i'm obsessed with this makeup look you guys have to try it i'm probably like late to this and everybody does this but i love it okay so now that I'm done with the face, pretty much, I'm gonna go and do my lips. Now where is, oh, here it is, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost done. Why did I lick it, ew. Okay, so now taking my Jeffree Star Lip Scrub, this is the Watermelon Velour, Velour Lip Scrub, Watermelon Scrub. Amazing, I love his scrubs. I never knew that I needed one until I bought this. When I tell you that it takes off all the foundation, like literally everything off your lips, it does and it tastes good and you can eat it. So I let that sit on my lips before I put on some chapstick and I'm gonna do my eyes now. So taking the same spoolie, I just like to brush out my eyelashes cause you know, there might be some mascara, not mascara, some foundation on there and everything. So I just kind of like spread them out so to get ready for my mascara. So this, for my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the birthday, the birthday one edition. Oh my God, I saw this in the store and I was like, I have to get it. Oh no, the light is going down. Okay, I have to finish this. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this to my eyes. Now I'm gonna make really weird faces and I'm gonna be looking up, so I'm very sorry. I'm gonna try to close my mouth though. <sighs> I can't. My tooth, my chip tooth is shaking right now. I'm not gonna go too OD. Just kidding, who, who am I kidding? I keep saying I'm, this is like natural, but I'm putting like all this shit on my face. And then now for the under eyes. Oh God, I forgot I had this subscribe on. Okay, and then the same thing on the other eye. Duh. I'm gonna like look back and watch this video and be like, what was, she, what was I saying? Okay. Oh my God, why did that mascara come out like that? Oh no, it's just me. Oh crap, okay. And then on the bottom. Okay. Now I'm gonna lick off the lip scrub 
and I just go like that just to get everything out. And then I also just take the powder brush just in case the sun gets on my face sometimes. Okay. Much better. Now for my lips, I'm just gonna be using Vaseline. I'm not a big lip person. I don't like lipstick because it just makes my lips chapped and lip gloss is nice and all, but like the wind and just sometimes you just don't, you know, you don't need it. <laughs> so I honestly just love applying Vaseline because it looks like lip, lip gloss and I am obsessed with chapstick. I bring my chapstick with me everywhere I go. Like I sleep with it. And if I forget to bring it to school or wherever I'm at, I'm literally sitting there so uncomfortable, like, like so uncomfortable because I just need chapstick. It's so bad. I'm convinced that like chapstick is made to like make your lips chap so that you buy more. Conspiracy theory. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to, where is my spoolie? Oh, right here. So I'm just gonna, like I said, remember when I said that my forehead was small? Yeah, we went over this a bunch of times. I just kind of take the baby hairs and just brush them out a little bit because I always get makeup in them. And it's, you know, it looks better if it's like brushed out. Just like that. And just go and comb my brows. Wow, they're so luscious. So satisfying. Okay, oh my God, I got one hair. Okay, got it. And that is the end of my daily makeup routine. Let's get a close up here. Oh, that was a bad angle. I'm so sorry. Ooh, 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 the light is going down now. So I'm going to pick up my phone so you guys can see a little bit better. Ooh, do you guys see what I mean? Like the glowy, bronzy look. It's amazing and I love it. Okay, so I'm going to sit you back down now. The power of no editing. Love this for me. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it. I know it's long, but this is the real daily makeup routine. This is what I do. Now I know it takes me about 30 minutes. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment below what you thought about it and more video ideas for me to film. And also follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm always posting quotes and keeping you guys updated with my life. And yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a beautiful day. I love you. Bye.